The family of a 21 year old woman who was driven to the hospital by Redskin Safety Monte Nicholson wants answers. Julia Crabb, she died from an apparent overdose, and the investigation into what exactly happened is still underway. Our Colby Satterfield has more on today's protest at FedEx Field. It's it's been rough. It's been 10 days since 21 year old Julia Crabb died from an apparent drug overdose. Today, her family is looking for answers and taking their push to FedEx Field. There were people there. Someone could have called 911. Number 35 chose not to call 911. Number 35 is Redskin safety Monte Nicholson. A source tells WUSA 9 Nicholson was one of the men who took Cram to the hospital. They also say that Nicholson waited an hour for Cram's family to arrive and remained in the waiting room until later that morning. Crab was later pronounced dead from an apparent overdose. And while he hasn't been named a suspect or accused of any wrongdoing in relation to the case, Crab's family thinks it's tone deaf of the Redskins to continue to let him play and are banding together in her memory. That young man, in my opinion, should not be on the field. This is an open investigation. What do our normal uh, employers do? They put you on administrative leave with pay pending the outcome. What's the difference here? So it's like a slap in the face. Nicholson spoke for the first time earlier this week and acknowledged that it has been hard to separate the game from what's been going on off the field. I'd like to make it known that this week has been extremely, um, extremely hard on not only myself, um, but Julia's friends and family as well. Um, and I would uh, appreciate if you would respect my privacy while everything's going on. Today, Crab's family watched the game from inside the stadium, hoping for answers. In Prince George's County, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9.